WBZ investigation. About 40,000 people die on the nation's roads every year, and the government is trying to bring that number down. Data obtained by CBS News shows the Department of Transportation mm. spent more than $2 billion wow. in the last couple of years on traffic safety projects. But it's not paying off. As CBS News investigative correspondent Stephen Stock discovered, traffic death rates are actually up in nearly every major American city. She could find the silliness and the fun and the joy in so much. The singing and joy ended. The moment a driver blew through this four-way stop, running over little five-year-old Allie Hart as she walked her bicycle in front of her dad. So the last thing I said to her was, I missed you while you were at school today. And she said, I missed you too, Mommy. And that was it. That was, that was the end of life as we knew it. Allie was one of 40 people that year killed in Washington, D.C. traffic crashes. Last year, traffic deaths there jumped nearly 93% from five years ago, despite the city spending more than $20 million since 2020 on Vision Zero, a program meant to reduce traffic fatalities. If it's working so well, why are we seeing fatalities go up? It's so challenging and nuanced. Sharon Kirschbaum, interim director of D.C.'s Department of Transportation, says Vision Zero works on those streets where changes have been made, like traffic cameras and narrowed lanes. When we have done a project, we can see that it's having an impact and the crashes are no longer happening where we've done something. But nothing is done in many cases, like on this busy thoroughfare, Connecticut Avenue Northwest, where every day 32,000 cars drive into the district. City leaders spent $1.5 million and years planning to narrow the street and slow down speeds. But after vocal opposition, leaders backed off and did nothing. In many cases, uh, we are so desperately trying to increase speeds that we're creating more potential points of deadly conflict. You can see here there's no shoulder. Beth Osborne supported Safe Streets initiatives like Vision Zero when she was acting assistant secretary at the U.S. Department of Transportation. I grew up in the South. We would say we we're always fixing to do good things, but when you're fixing to, you're not actually doing anything. CBS News analyzed more than 1,100 Safe Streets projects nationwide in the last two years. We found fewer than one in 10 projects were actually doing or making physical changes. Most projects involved no action, just discussion and planning. Do we need to do more doing and less talking? I think uh, uh, we certainly need to continue accelerating this work and we need to recognize and learn from the places that are getting real results. U.S. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg calls the number of fatalities on our roads a national crisis. Why, despite spending all this money, are the fatality rates still going up in major American cities? Well, there's no one-size-fits-all answer. Look, we've had an increase in uh, the use of, of vehicles, and in some cases, their size and speeds have been increasing, too. Vision Zero is working in Europe, in Sweden, where deaths were cut in half, or the Netherlands, which now has one of the lowest traffic fatality rates in the world. Why is it working in Europe, but not working here? Uh, Americans are, are used to just thinking of it as a cost of doing business or something that can't be avoided, but I don't see how we can accept that. A white ghost bike memorializes the crosswalk where Allie used to walk home from school. And the car came down here and didn't stop. Didn't know he'd hit her until he was through the intersection and presumably heard Brian screaming. But little else has changed, including driver behavior, as we witness several cars never slowing down, much less stopping, where Ali died. I turned to advocacy because it felt like after Ali was killed, I couldn't not do something. I couldn't live with the idea that my daughter, my five-year-old daughter was dead and gone forever, and that that was it. We looked at government spending in Massachusetts and found that over the past two years, close to 53 million, mostly federal tax dollars, have gone towards 32 traffic safety projects. But traffic fatalities have gone up 113% since Boston adopted Vision Zero. I'm Stephen Stock, CBS News.